Hey, welcome to Catch This. Today, Sean and Coach Levo are working on framing drills to extend the strike zone over home plate. Also, he's working on situational batting at the end of the video, so make sure to tune into that. And uh, also, we would really like to thank everybody for subscribing to the channel. And if you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. And with that, we'll get with the drills. On the outside edge of the plate, I don't want you to come, the ball's coming this way, okay? I don't want you to catch it here and bring it across. I want you to wait until it gets here and you catch it here. Okay, I'm not gonna throw it hard. I want you to try to catch it like this. Catch it like this, okay? So the ball is coming across the strike zone. I want you to get the feeling of making that strike zone wider. All right, and when you put the glove on and do this, with the camera right there, the glove should be off the plate, okay? But the, the glove should be on the plate, but the ball should be deeper in the glove here. And when he drops it, it, comes, it, it drops. In right the over plate. top of the plate. No, it, the ball drops in the green, but the hand is over the plate, okay? So you, what you're doing is trying to see the umpire, okay? So get up on the plate real close. Real close, real closer, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna flip it nice and soft. Okay. So, with these three fingers, try to catch them with the fingers pointed at that. Okay, here we go. Now, where did he catch that one? Dead middle. Yeah, no, I don't want him dead middle. I want him dead over the left knee. I want the ball to travel, travel the whole way across on the plate and catch it with the left knee. Just outside the plate, over your left knee. Let it come across. Now drop it to find out where you're at. Okay. Trust yourself to catch it wide. That's it. Two more. More to your left. That's it. Do it again. More to your left. See, the goal here is to make the plate wider. Okay? What we're trying to do is a little, little deception here to, with the umpire. Okay? Yeah. Now, what's going to, umpire is going to see, now put your glove on. What, what you want to do here, Sean, on that pitch, is try to catch it here. Yeah. So the umpire's over the left shoulder. He's going to see that glove over the strike zone. But when the ball drops, it looks like this. If this is the inside edge of the plate, we catch it back here. My glove is over the plate right now. But when I drop the ball, it's off the plate. The ball is off the plate. So we're actually catching a ball, but making it look like a strike. Does that make sense to you? Now you're over the plate, let it catch it deeper. Catch it deeper across. You're getting there, you're getting there. Now start with your hand out here. Start with it out here. Bring it up here. Yep, right there, right there. Keep that hand out there. See that? That's what we're looking for. Give me two more just like that. Very good. Do it again. Ah, touch it. Come on. Catch it. Just keep it out over the left knee. More. Ah, that's all right. That's all right. It's a hard drill, son. Don't worry about it. There we go. Okay, now we're going to turn the plate around 180 degrees. All right, get yourself a drink. Very outside edge. You're going to catch it over your right knee now. This is a lot easier. You want all you're going to do is catch it out here. You want bare hand first? Yeah, you're going to start bare hand first. I want you to get the feel. We've done this drill before. But it was years and years ago. We've done this drill. Oh yeah. Oh, when I, my, I always do this with my catchers when I first start with the boys. Oh. I've done it. I, it's probably three years since I've done this. Game. Wow. But now that you're putting it up there on the yeah yeah yeah, let's let the world see. Yeah yeah. Now, glove on the outside and get it out there over the right knee. And catch it off the plate. And catch it off the plate. This is hard to do bare hand. But it's easy to do with glove on yeah. Squeeze it. Catch it, squeeze it. Good. Catch it, squeeze it. Get in. There you go. One more. Look it in the glove. Look it in the glove. Roll your fingers up. Roll your fingers up, baby. That's it. You're almost at it. Come on. <laughs> All right, there you go. Now put the glove on. Now, remain, keep the glove, this part from the middle of the glove to your left, to the back of your wrist, that stays over the plate. 
Okay. The ball crosses the plate, it's outside. It's like someone, it's like a pitcher throwing a slider. Yeah. Down and in our right hand and hit her down the way on the left hand. Yeah. Catch it off the plate. Catch it outside your right hand. Uh, no, get, leave it there. Get off, man. Leave it go. Stop. Get that hand out there. Get it out there. Like you're showing that target. Get it up there and get it go. There you go. Stand out over more far, farther. There we go. Uh, farther, farther. Now, go farther. Make it till it's uncomfortable. No, I flick that one down. Get your hand out there. Get it out there. Get it out there. That's all right. Come on. Keep it out there. There we go. Keep it out there. Oh, boy. Keep it out there. See where the gloves in the strike zone, Kirk? And the ball is off the plate. Yep. That's what we're looking for right there. Ah, open your glove, two more. Come on, catch it, son. Here we go, last ball syndrome. That boy, good. Came off around his neck. Stay inside the ball. Stay top of son. Stay top of son. Relax. Relax. Right there. All right, now. Over and scoring. Okay. What's your job? Hit and run. What are you going to do? Uh, hit it hard and find the gap. No, swing the bat. Swing the bat. If you're a catcher, you should know this. If you swing the bat, you slow the catcher down and the opportunity to run around. Oh, I thought you meant like run on third. No, hit and run. Okay. Hit and run. <laughs> All right. Now, you got him over. He's on second base. How are you going to get to third? It's the right side. All you have to do is hit it behind the back foot of the guy on second base. If you're on second base as a base runner, if the ball's hit in front of you, what are you doing? Stopping. And going back, right? Yeah. If the ball's hit behind you, even if it's five feet behind you, ten feet behind you, or six inches behind you, what are you doing? You're going third. Just hit it behind the back foot to the guy on short. Or the guy on second. Here we go. Did you do it? Kind of. You hit it to the right side, but you didn't hit it hard enough to get past the pitcher, did you? Probably not. Probably not. So we have to get it by the pitcher. Do it again. Get him over. Now you hit in front of him. You hit it in front of him. Come on, get him over. You got him over. Good job. Now, he's on third. What's your job? How are you going to score him? Sack fly. Now, does that sack fly, let's get a little bit more specific with that sack fly. Middle of the right hand. You gotta hit it in the gap. If you make the outfield, take more than two steps to his right, two steps to his left, or turn his back. Yeah. You got it. If you hit the ball in front of him, a hard line drive, or a fly ball that he's gonna come up on, that's not necessarily gonna get the job done. Yeah. You make him turn two steps right, Two steps left, and turn his back. You did your job. Yeah. Now, be specific on a pitch that you can drive. Did you do it? Not really. I would say you did. It's probably like a step or two for second deal. It was like just right of the corner. Okay. All right. So you want to get it up there where the emergency lights are, up in the corner. Yeah. That's the direction you want to be. Did you get it through the third baseman? Probably. Okay. Then you did. Let's do it again. Hit and run. That does the job. Good job. Get him over. Did you hit it hard enough to get by the pitcher? Yeah. Okay, very good. Now scoring. I would say absolutely that's a line drive to the end. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a good round. Now you're done. Hey, thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Uh, please make sure to subscribe down below and give us a thumbs up. And also, our playlist is above there for everybody to watch. Thanks.